In this lecture, we will talk about absolute value. What's the meaning or the definition of absolute value? The absolute value of a number is actually the distance of the number from the origin. Remember, the distance is always positive. That's one thing. Another thing is that the distance is denoted by this. And then you may plug in a number here. OK? So any number and then you add two vertical line on the left and the right, respectively, then you are actually to find out the distance of that number. So absolute value is actually the distance. The distance. Or you may say the length of that number. And here is the example. You see negative 3. The distance between negative 3 and 0 is denoted by two vertical lines and then a number, as we wrote here. And the distance, of course, between negative 3 and origin is 3. And it's all the time positive. The distance can never be negative. Now, what's the distance between 4 and origin? That's easy to see. So the distance between 4 and origin, or the absolute value of 4 is just a positive 4. And the absolute value of negative 3, negative number, is always positive. So you always get positive. Whatever, which number, positive or negative, you plug in, you always have a positive. With those things in our mind, and then let's solve inequalities. Now basically here is uh, equation, right? Yeah. So they are equal, equal sign here. And here is different. Is absolute value of x is greater than negative 5. That looks like make things complicated. Actually, it's not. If we are clear about the absolute value of a number x denoted by this, which is positive, okay, the distance is all the time positive. So you know write down here you may write all the time is positive okay so there was the meaning for that you know absolute value of x is always greater than zero okay of course the distance between zero and zero is zero okay sometimes here can be zero if you put zero here. If you put zero right here. Okay. So you may write here is any number with absolute value is greater than or equal to zero. That's of course zero is greater than any negative number. Okay. So the solution of the inequality means this one is all real numbers. Whatever you plug in, you plug in negative, negative number, you choose absolute value, you get greater than zero. You plug in positive number right here, choose the absolute value, you still get greater than zero. You plug in zero here, you get z zero. Absolute value of zero is zero. Anyway, absolute value of a number x which is all the time greater than or equal to zero, is all the time greater than negative number. So 
any number you plug in is going to work. That's why we say the solution of the inequality is all real numbers. Okay, all real numbers. So this one looks complicated, but actually is easy. Because again, this number all the time is greater than or equal to zero. So of course then is greater than or a negative number. Okay. That's A. Now look at B. B absolute value of X is less than four. Huh. Look. We want four here is negative four positive 4 right here. So we know where negative 4 or positive 4 is. Now you want to see if you plug in negative 5 here is going to work or not. Negative 5, choose the absolute value is 5 because again the distance between negative 5 and 0 is positive 5. That's greater than 4. So any number less than negative 4 on the left is not going to work. Of course, down here, right hand side, if you have a 5 here, you plug in 5. Okay, So here you can basically plug in two numbers, negative 5 and positive 5 here. Put absolute value of positive 5 still is 5, which is greater than 4. But remember, we want less than. So if you plug in a number which is greater than 4, it's not going to work on this side. If you plug in a number which is less than negative 4 on the left, it's not going to work. So all the numbers in between is going to work. To plug in negative 2 here, you get a positive 2. Choose the absolute value. Of course, 2 is less than 4. You plug in 3 here. Okay, you can plug in two different numbers here to try it. Alright. You plug in 3 here. 3, choose the absolute value is less than 4. So all the numbers in between negative 4 and positive 4 is going to work. Remember, if you plug in negative 4 or positive 4, you get positive 4 here. A positive 4 is equal to 4, not less than 4. So these two boundary points are not included because it does not satisfy this inequality. Okay? There is no equal sign right here. If there were, then 4 would be included. So that's why I use empty circle. From this point to this point means those two points are excluded. So you do it this way. Now, this one I want to try yourself. x greater than or equal to 3. So here I can explain a little bit to you here. You plug in negative 1 here. Absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. 1 is less than 3. Is not greater than or equal to 3. So Negative 1 is not included. How about 0? Of course not. Absolute value of 0 is 0. And then 0 is not greater than or equal to 3. 0 is less than 3. So anyway, all the points in between negative 3 to positive 3 are not going to work right here. So only the numbers on the left of negative 3 all on the right of negative 3 is going to work. You plug in negative 4, is this going to work? Yeah, 
if you plug in negative 4 here, choose the absolute value is positive 4, which is greater than 3. How about negative 3? You plug in negative 3 here, choose the absolute value, you got a positive 3. 3 is equal to 3, there is an equal sign here. So that's why we say those two points, negative and positive 3s, are included. So I use solid points. And here are two empty, and here are two solid. Okay, so remember, greater than a constant is two sides. Less than a constant is inside those two. We will use these two things later. Okay, and then I'll see you next time.